what it does not mean. What our purpose was and is and what our purpose is not. One can begin to understand what the state of Yehuda, Judea, is by beginning to understand the situation as it is now. Last week, Moshe Aaron, the foreign minister of Israel, speaking before the Knesset Committee on Foreign Affairs, told them, we need not adhere to long-held positions. We need not be stone walls. For that he was praised openly, profusely by Yossi Sarit. If Yossi Sarit praises you, you know you must be doing something wrong. And if the Jerusalem Post praises you, you had best sit back and say, where have I gone wrong? And if your name is Moshe Aaron, not only of Likud, but of Cherut, not only of Cherut, but of Beitar, and that says a great deal about the glory that once was and is long since gone. Last Wednesday, Yitzhak Shamir appeared before soldiers in Shechem and he stated, there will be peace because we will find the compromise between what our heart wants and what our head tells us must be. And that is another tragic and not so subtle hint as to the readiness and the willingness of this government to compromise. When Yitzhak Shamir speaks about an international peace conference under the authors of the UN, you know that the beginning of the compromise is at hand. And when his top aide, Yossi Ben Aron, gets up and speaks of a confederation between Jordan, Palestine, and Israel, you know that we are in deep trouble. This is not Shimon Peres. This is the Likud. And when they speak about elections for mayors in Judea and Samaria, the West Bank, you know that compromise is before us. We are paying the price for 21 years of a failure to annex the territories. It is we who created a vacuum so that today we have no reason to blame the world. We have no reason to blame anyone except ourselves. Because we did not annex these areas, the world quite naturally assumes that there are two options. Either a Palestinian state, which is justice, or a continuation of what we have now, which is occupation. That's the natural, logical concept that emerges from the fact that we have not annexed these areas. If something belongs to you, you leap upon it and you shout, it is mine. You do not say autonomy. Autonomy means it's not yours, and if it's not yours, get out. You're a thief. We wonder why the world has positive feelings about the QLO. 
Let me tell you why. Because despite what they have done, the terror and the murder, they never compromised. They always said, it is ours. And when someone hears someone say, it is ours and I don't compromise, and the other party says, well, you take half and I'll take half, he says, that is the honest person. And that is the thief. We are paying the price for the fact that 21 years ago, with the 